Hi everybody, Doug Hippie from EAC Product Development Solutions with another tip of the week. Today we're going to look at creating a composite curve and what a composite curve is, is combining two different types of curves into one curve so that you can use it for a downstream feature. In this example here, I have a intersecting curve that I created on this part model along with a projected curve that I created on this part model. I'm going to kind of combine both of those into one composite curve so that I can use it downstream for split draft. Let's take a look at how we do that. The first thing that you want to do is highlight one of the curves. It doesn't matter which one. I like to follow the rule of thumb that the first one that exists on my model tree, that's the one that I want to have highlighted. Control C and Control V to copy it. Just note up on the tab here, you're noticing here it's in process of creating a composite curve. And I can choose an exact or an approximation of that curve depending on what I need to do. Now, all I need to do is hold down the shift key and select the other curve or curves that I want to add into my composite curve. Very simple thing to do. You can even extend these curves if you'd like. If you go over to the handles, if you need to, you can say extend or trim, depending on the circumstance. So there is some editing that you can do with these curves while you're in this tool. Okay, let's grab that one there now. And I now have that copied composite curve. And just for the sake of clarity here, I'm gonna hide my other curves so I don't accidentally grab those when I go to create my draft feature. So what I want to do is I want to draft the wall around here over to this other side. Drafts are very similar in vain to a round. They're going to continue themselves all the way around until they meet someplace that's not tangent. In this case here, you'll also notice that part of the feature has surfaces on the opposite side here that I don't want to control. So we're going to manage that from within the draft tool. So I've went in and I've selected draft. And the first thing I'm going to say is let's exclude specific loops. So I'm going to hold down my control key and I'm going to select these two loops so they're no longer part of it. Now what I need to do is define my draft hinge. And this is where I'm going to select that composite curve that I just got done creating. Define my pull direction. And now you'll see that my draft has become active. But I haven't defined my split yet. So I'm going to say let's split by my draft hinge. And I'll just put in a value of five on this face here, and we'll put a value of five on this one here so that you can see the effect of that draft. Okay. So now in this circumstance here, what I was just able to do in a very short period of time is grab two curves. They do need to be continuous. In other words, their endpoints do need to mate. But I was able to grab those two, turn them into one curve, and then use that to split draft on this part. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to your friendly EAC account manager. Let them know you saw Doug's tip of the week and you'd like to get more information. Thanks and have a great week.